Forget what you know. Otherworldly creatures do exist. My name is Shady. I was born in the ghetto of Detroit. And I've seen just about everything. On the streets they call me Superfly. And in the sheets the women call me Sexy. But when someone needs my services, I'm a badass. I'm part of a team searching for the lost items of Majesty 12. 12 items of power. And when combined, they make a suit that has no weaknesses. But we're not the only ones on this quest. And we hunt those creatures because they threaten the natural order of things. Three years ago, I met a man who opened my eyes. John LeBang. We call him Bang. He enlightened us about the dangers of these weapons getting into the wrong hands. The timepiece, the wings, the jacket, the sensory glasses, and the power ring have all been found and are now in a secure location. Two years ago, we were attacked from outer space, possibly for the items. Then came the fairies and their civil war. We've captured their leader and right-hand man when they came for the timepiece. They recruited a friend of mine and turned him into the thing that I hate most. I should have finished him off last time I seen him. So now I'm hunting him. But something doesn't feel right. And the dreams are back again. God, I need a beer. But everyone should stay in their homes until the crisis is over. We gotta take a quick break. We'll see anything, right Uncle Shady? I see a fat lady going into the beer store. Well, that's not what I mean, Uncle Shady. You asked if I seen anything, and I told you about the Mega Hipposaurus. What else do you want? Come on, guys, we've gotta stay focused. This is the best lead we've had in weeks. Well, it's hard to stay focused when you're dying of thirst. We brought a case of beer, Uncle Shady. Why don't you drink one of those? I finished those off 10 minutes ago. Damn, Uncle Shady. What? Well, that's a lot of beer, Uncle Shady. Well, I told you I was thirsty. Listen here, fellas. There's a woman in high heels walking down from Outer Drive. Got a make on her? 10-4, I see her. Oh, that's just a neighborhood hussy. Don't worry about her. She's just looking to make some money tonight. Well, what do you mean, Uncle Shady? Well, she's the streetwalker, Leroy. Um, a streetwalker? You know, a lady of the night. You mean like a vampire, Uncle Shady? Listen here, we're not in some Blade movie. Well, I still don't understand, Uncle Shady. That's because you watch too much Pawn Tube. Okay, fellas, enough of the chit chat. We're on a stakeout, remember? So stay sharp. <laughs> stay sharp, he says. How am I supposed to stay sharp when I'm about to go into shock because of lack of beer? Listen here, I'm going to step into the store and grab me a beer. You two want anything? I'm good, Uncle Shady. No thanks, I'm good too. Well, call me if you need me. Copy that. 10-4, Uncle Shady. Got a light? No, you got a disease. I'm clean, honey. I don't believe that. Now, if you excuse me, there's a beer with my name on it, just waiting for me to grab it and drink it. I'll be here if you change your mind. You know, on second thought, how much do you charge? For what? For my nephew. Your nephew? Yeah, he's been watching too much Pawn Tomb lately, and I thought I'd get him the real thing for once. Be like an early birthday present. Well, how old is he? Too old to be watching Pawn Tomb. Are you a cop? Lady, do I look like a cop to you? It's hard to tell sometimes. Well, maybe you just need some glasses. I've got about ten pairs myself. Well, it's a hundred big ones for an hour. Well, I've got a big one. Do you give senior citizen discounts? I thought you said it was your nephew. Well, it is. But he doesn't need an hour. Maybe like two or three minutes. How much do you charge for that? Two or three minutes, honey? Well, that's all the time he'll probably need. You know, he is a rookie. Forget it, Grandpa. Now beat it. Fine. You're overpriced anyways. Jerk. Hey, where's the beer? It's over in the cooler on the right side. 
Okay, thanks a lot. Thank you for coming. How may I help you? I like to get some lottery numbers. Well, what numbers would you like? Just hang on a minute. I got to look at my phones. Oh, okay. I swear, it was here a minute ago. Now let's see. Not a very good selection here. We got Gay Wiser, Filler Genuine Crap, and Old El Asshole. Mm. Warm filtered with Mexican water. Uh, wish I had some of that BJ beer right now. Guess I just closed my eyes. Eeny, meeny, miny, mo. Gay wiser. That's not a good sign. I was going to be a millionaire, you know. Well, good luck with that. Did you find your numbers yet? No, it's on it. I knows it's in here someplace. I just forgot where I put it. Oh, okay. Lady, will you hurry up? You just hang on. I had them somewhere. This technology is confusing me. Now listen here. If you're going to look through your stupid phone for what you need, then get the hell out of line so the rest of us can go on with our lives. It's called a smartphone, and I was here first. I bet she says that in the buffet line, too. I heard that. That's not very nice. So, I call it like I see it. So why don't you take your smartphone, which apparently isn't working, since you're too stupid to find what you need before getting in line, and move your oversized jelly roll eating grossness out of the way so the rest of us can go on with our business. I'm just big boned. Lady, your fat rolls have fat rolls. We don't like to be called fat. Then don't go out in public. Uh well, I never. Well, that's probably because you're too fat. Are you just going to stand there and let him say this to one of your customers? Well, what do you want me to do? We'll say something. Okay. Sir, how may I help you today? Where's the manager? Listen, lady, you probably sat on him. Well, I've seen that before. Unsuspecting victim getting lodged in a roll of fat. He is outside right now. Feeding the camel. I'm never coming back here. Listen, don't break the floor on the way out. She was fat. Well, how may I help you today? Well, I want to buy this case of beer. Oh, okay. I thought you were coming in to tell me about how the operation is going. Nope. Just coming in for some beer, and since this is your cousin's beer store, I thought you'd give me a discount. Well, I am sorry to inform you. We do not give out discounts. We let you on the team, right? Well, and you're part of this secret operation, aren't you? Yes, and I'm very grateful for that. And the only reason you're part of this operation is because your cousin owns the beer store. Isn't that right? Yes, that is very true. Well then, you've got to make it look legit. Everybody gives discounts to their friends. Oh, well, how much of a discount should I give? Well, how about two bucks? Okay, two dollars does sound fair. Okay, well, here's two bucks. No, wait, I meant two dollars off, not two dollars for the beer. Well, that's your fault. We agreed on two bucks. Well, I cannot sell you the beer for two dollars. What, you trying to rip me off now? Well, no. Listen, there are laws against this, you know. But you know what? Give me back my two bucks. Okay. And next time your establishment does this, well, here you go. I'm going to sue you. Hey, where are you going with that beer? Well, I'm leaving. But you cannot take that. Sure I can. Oh, no, no. You did not pay for that. Listen, this is what we call settling out of court. Oh. Nice doing business with you. What? Bye. The nervous, some people. Hmm. Good luck I didn't sue Well, hmm. Looks like we're going to get a bad storm tonight. I better get my ass back in the car before I have a bad hair day. All right. All right. I better tell him I'm back. Breaker, breaker, one nine. I'm back and I'm badder than ever. Anything happened while I was gone? Well, I had to take a poop, Uncle Shady. Damn, Leroy, that's TMI. Oh, I'm sorry, Uncle Shady. Let me ask you a question, Leroy. What's that, Uncle Shady? Where'd you go? Oh, I went in the alley, Uncle Shady. Oh, Jesus, Leroy. Heads up, guys. Leroy, see that guy walking down the street? Oh, I see him. I think that's our target. Can you verify that from your position? Well, hang on. Hmm. 10-4, it's him. 
Looks like he's got a few friends with him, too. Well, how many can you make out? Well, there's at least three of them. One of them's wearing a trench coat, some weird shoes, and a hat. Copy that. Everybody get ready to move. Now don't be hasty. I just opened a beer. Okay, it looks like they're heading into the old burned out adult toy factory building. You mean that Long Dong Silver's place? That's right, Uncle Shady. Well, what the hell does he want in there? Well, maybe he wants to buy something, Uncle Shady. Leroy? Yeah, Uncle Shady? Just shut up. Okay, he's in the building. Leroy, rendezvous with me by the dumpster. Shady, you parked the car in the alley next to the building. 10-4. On second thought, Shady, you better bring them back up. Are you serious? Well, better be safe than sorry, Shady. See, Leroy, that's why I tell you to wear a condom. What are you talking about, Uncle Shady? Well, what the hillbilly said. It's better to be safe than sorry. Um, well, I'm confused, Uncle Shady. Well, that's normal. All right, guys, let's move out. 10-4. Hey, let's go! Come on! What the hell is taking him so long? Well, it's about time. Excuse me, could you please stop beeping your horn? My cousin's camels are getting very restless. Listen here, open the door and sit your ass down. We gotta go. But my cousin's not here. That's not my problem. We're on a mission, remember? And if you want to remain as part of the team, you've got to go when we say you got to go. Well, let me lock up the store. Listen, we don't have time for that. Well, what about my judo belt? Well, what about it? Should I go get it? Well, what the hell do you need that for? Well, in case we go into combat. You're really unprepared now, aren't you? Well, this is my first time. Well, normally I like virgin, but not in this case. Oh, I can't wait for mine. Oh, oh Jesus. Good evening. This is John Thoreau filling in for John LeBang on this stormy night. Tonight we're discussing your Friday the 13th horror stories. Our next call comes from Peppa in Chicago. I'm at my first baby daddy's on Friday the 13th up in the Crystal Lake and he tries to kill me. He tried to kill you? That's right. He be like six feet round for like two hours. Breaker Breaker 1-9. We're ready, willing, and on location. Well, it's about time, you know. That's what she said. What's it look like from where you're at? Well, let's see. We're in the alley of a burned out building, and it's dark out, and I can't find my glasses. <laughs> well, you see any back doors they can use? No, I don't see anyone using a back door. Do you? Nope, not even the camera. So it looks like the coast is clear. Well, we're out. All right, let's go. Check. Did you bring any protection? Um, well, I didn't know we would need any. But let me check. What do you mean, let me check? Either you have something or you don't. Well, I used up so many that last time I was with Ditty, I can't remember if I have any left. What the hell are you talking about? Oh, look, I have one left. A banger extra rib for her pleasure. Not a condom, you idiot. Some kind of weapon. A weapon? Like what? a gun or a knife or something. Well, why would I need that? Forget it. Let's see if we have something in the trunk. Hmm. Not much to choose from. Take your pick. You can have a tire iron for bashing people in the head, or you can have a fishing pole. Hmm. Well, I've never learned how to change a tire. Not even in driver's ed, huh? I did not go to driver's ed. Figures. Well, here, take the fishing pole. Maybe you can catch something. Oh, I love fishing. Just hopefully it's not something contagious. Well, what does that mean? Never mind. Now let's go. Well, I wonder what's taking Uncle Shady so long. I don't know, but we're going to lose the element of surprise if they don't get here soon. Do you hear that? Hear what? It's like moaning or something. Yeah, I do hear it. Sounds like it's coming from inside the building. It's kind of creepy. There they are. Over here, Uncle Shady. Thanks, Leroy. It's so damn dark out here, and I can't find my glasses, so I was having a hard time seeing things. Did you lose your glasses, Uncle Shady? That's what I said, Leroy. Didn't you listen? I said I can't find them. That means I lost them. Was that you making all the racket and beeping the horn a while ago? Damn right. I was trying to get this guy's attention. It was harder than waking up my ex-wife for sex. She did not like sex? I don't know. She always slept through it. Well, don't you think you could have been a little less conspicuous? Well, what are you talking about? Well, all that ruckus could have tipped them off. Are you kidding me? 
This is Detroit. That's normal behavior around here. And what the hell are you carrying? Well, it's a fishing pole. I know it's a fishing pole. Why'd you bring it? Well, in case we needed it. In case we needed a fishing pole? Are you crazy? Listen, that's his weapon of choice for tonight. Just deal with it. Hey, what is that noise? I don't know, but it's coming from inside. Hmm. Well, maybe it's one of my ex-girlfriends. She lives around here. Well, what are you talking about, Uncle Shady? Well, I had this girl one time I was dating for a while, and she would let the whole neighborhood know when we were the bang, if you know what I mean. Well, was she a man? Because these voices sound pretty deep, Shady. Well, you never know these days. It's the 21st century and all. She could have become one of those Zs and got a couple of shots in her hormones, you know, to make her, I mean, him, I'm, I mean, whatever, get a deeper voice. Oh, that is very disturbing. How do you think I feel? I had a lot of fun with her. I mean, him. I mean, God, please don't let this be true. Would that make you gay, Uncle Shady? Shut up, Leroy. I think that's a legitimate question. Yes, me too. Listen, all three of you can kiss my ass. All right, let's go. I have a bad feeling about this. Oh, it's very spooky in here. Anyone got a flashlight? Oh, I got one. Well, pull it out, Leroy. Okay, Uncle Shady. It's in here somewhere. Hurry up, Leroy. Okay, here you go, Uncle Shady. Well, don't give it to me. Give it to the hillbilly. He's the one that asked for it. All right, now let's see if we can shed some light on the situation. Uh, oh, no, oh, my. What the hell? What kind of place is this, Uncle Shady? It's a place for weirdos, Leroy. I am very creeped out right now. What are those symbols on the walls, Uncle Shady? I don't know, Leroy. Well, that one right there is a baphomet. Now, that doesn't look anything like that tennis game with that little floaty thing. Oh, I love that game. Not bad, Mitten. Baphomet. Well, what the hell is that? It's a sabbatic goat. Oh, back home I have a goat. I can believe that. Now, could you please speak English? But I am speaking English. Not you, the hillbilly. Oh. Well, to be the most succinct, Shady, it's the sum total of the universe. Ergo, representing the male and female, good and evil, darkness and light, etc., etc., etc. Oh, so what you're saying is, it's the god of disease. Guess everybody's got to have one. Where do you think they go to die, Uncle Shady? Well, I don't want to know, Leroy. And hopefully, that's not where I end up. It's not exactly like that, gentlemen. Actually, it's more like a pagan thing. You mean like sacrificing virgins? We don't sacrifice virgins. We saved them. Shut up. We're not talking to you. Sure, it's kind of like the pagan thing, Shady. I'm scared, Uncle Shady. Don't worry, Leroy. From what I remember, the virgins were always female. So you've got nothing to worry about. Everybody just stay calm. I'll take the lead. Shady, you bring up the rear. Are you crazy? I've watched enough movies to know that the last guy in the line is the first one to be bitten in the behind. Shady, that's a bunch of hogwash. They put that in movies to scare you. Oh yeah? Well, if you're so brave, why don't you take it in the rear? Fine. You lead us then. Well, I'm not going first. What if there's some kind of monster thing? Or even a booby trap? Oh, I love boobies. Not this kind. Oh, yes. I love them all. Well, if you're so eager then, why don't you go first? Me? Yeah, you. But it's dark and scary. Well, you've got the fishing pole, right? Yes. Well, it's simple logic then. If there's anything to be caught by, then it should be you catching it. Can I think about that for a minute? Sure. Go ahead and take all the time you want. Time's up. What? What you? But I need more time. Well, while you do that, we're going to take a vote on it. All in favor of him being the sacrificial lamb, I mean, leading the way, say aye. Aye. Aye, Uncle Shady. Me too. Opposed? No. Well, it's too bad. The eyes have it. I want to recount. Who do you think you are, Hillary Clinton? Well, no. And before you try to claim that it was rigged against you, is anybody here Russian? Nope. I'm a redneck through and through. Um, where was I born, Uncle Shady? In Dearborn, Leroy. And I'm American. So lead the way. But I'm scared. Listen here. You've just been promoted to lead your first mission. Don't chicken out now. Oh, 
Okay. Um, what's that smell, Uncle Shady? Somebody farted, Leroy, and it's definitely coming from in front of us. Yeah, I can smell it too. Oh, that was me. Well, you could have at least warned us, you know, because those silent ones are the most deadly. I get this way every time I am freaked out. Well, you should have told us before we elected you to lead the way. Well, nobody asked. Nobody needs to ask. Everybody just quiet down. Um, now which way do we go? Well, we could go left, or we could go right. Um, did you hear that, Uncle Shady? Hear what, Leroy? I don't know, Uncle Shady. Well, it's probably a fault then, Leroy. Oh, I hear it too. Keep calm, everybody. You know, Hillbilly, you ever get that feeling that you've done something before? You mean like deja vu? Yeah, that's it. Oh, I hit it again. And it's getting closer. Well, what are you trying to tell me, Shady? Well, I'm trying to remember, actually. There it goes again. Oh, I don't want to be first anymore. Well, what are you trying to remember, Shady? I don't know, but I think it's something bad. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> what is that? Leroy, look out. <laughs> Okay, he's gone. Uncle Shady, are you all right? Uh, I've been better, Leroy. Oh, I can still hit him. Stay on your toes, everyone. Shady, can you walk? Barely. What's that all over you, Uncle Shady? Oh, dear God, I've been slimed. You mean like Ghostbusters? Was that the ghost? No, it was worse than that. Worse than a ghost, Uncle Shady? <laughs> it's a flasher, Leroy. What is a flasher? Better hope you don't ever find out. Oh, it sounds like he's getting closer again. Okay, everybody, get ready. <laughs> hey, he's stealing my beer. Hi, Mom. I got him. See, and you question him on the fishing pole. Now pull him in. Uh, it's very uh, <laughs> Just let go of the pole. Should we go after him? Listen here. I'll go after him. You two go that way and finish our mission. By yourself, Uncle Shady? Well, he tried to save my beer. I feel like I own one now. That sounds like a plan. Better take the machine gun, Shady. That's probably a good idea. Here, Leroy, take my pistol. Okay, Uncle Shady. We'll make radio contact every five minutes. How many clips you got left, Leroy? I've got four left, Uncle Shady. Well, give me two of them. I'd take an extra one if I were you. Well, I don't waste bullets like you guys. Are you sure this is a good plan, Uncle Shady? No. You got a better one? Well, no, Uncle Shady. Hey, Hillbilly, you got a better plan? Nothing off the top of my head. See, Leroy? This is all we got. All right, let's go. Goodbye, Uncle Shady. Good luck, Shady. I'm going to need it. God, I need a beer. My back. I think I broke it. Oh, that was a very bad idea. Oh, I'm going to need a big massage after this. Oh, it's very dark in here. Oh, my belly is bubbling. Oh, this is not good. Oh, there's the noise again. I wouldn't come close if I were you. I am having very bad fun, and I know you do. Hey. hey! Oh God! Did you have to do that right when I walked up? Oh, you scared the bejeebies out of me. What kind of word is bejeebies? Well, I don't know. <gasps> Listen. What's the matter now? Oh, I can hear him. Will you stop whining? Okay. Um, how did you find me? Well, I just followed the smell. Oh. Besides, it was pretty easy. You only went a couple hundred yards. Oh. Hmm. So you lost him, huh? Um, no. Well, where is he then? Well, somewhere out there. Like I said, you lost him. And where's your fishing pole? Um, I don't know. You mean you lost that too? That's valuable equipment. Please don't tell me you lost the beer. Well, what the hell? Do you know how hard it was for me to get that case of beer? I almost had to sue somebody over it, and you go and lose it. Well, I did my best. Obviously, that wasn't good enough. Oh, it's getting closer. Oh, don't worry. I've got a little something waiting for him. Hey, hurry up. I'm getting thirsty. Shh. What are you doing? 
trying to speed things up. I am very freaked out at the moment. I know, I can tell. What the hell did you eat last night? Oh, it was crabs. You know, they got blue ointment for that. Oh, here it goes. I'm ready, are you? What? <laughs> Payback's a bitch, ain't it? <laughs> hey, next time, bring back my beer. <laughs> On second thought, bring some air freshener, too. I'll teach you to be a <laughs> Sissy. Is he gone? Like a fault in the wind. Speaking of wind, we could use some right now. Um, where is everybody? Well, we had to split up. They went the other way. You mean you came looking for me? Well, really, it was for the beer, but if it makes you feel better, sure. Oh, I will never forget this. Well, if we don't find my beer, I'm not going to forget it either. Now, let's go. What, are we leaving? No, we've got to find my beer. Oh. We haven't got all night, you know. I'm thirsty, and there's a Godzilla movie at the top of the hour, and I don't want to miss it. Oh, monsters make me very scared. Oh, even you would like this one. It's called Godzilla vs. the Sheeple. Oh, I love sheep. Well, I figured. Have you ever seen it? Well, I don't think so. That's the one where Godzilla goes around the world, killing all the stupid people. Oh, that sounds very scary. Scary? It's the only Godzilla movie with a happy ending. Um, could we stop talking about scary things right now? Only if you stop farting. Now, come on. I need a beer. Well, it's been more than five minutes. You better check in with your uncle. Okay, sure. Uncle Shady, this is Leroy. Do you copy? Hmm, dead end. Uncle Shady, are you there? No response. Well, keep trying. Uncle Shady, do you copy? Now, why would you build a corridor to nowhere? Uncle Shady, hmm. um, I don't think this is working very good. Now, this just doesn't make sense. Hello, Uncle Shady. Are you there, Uncle Shady? Nothing. Well, maybe the walls are interfering with the signal. Well, what should we do? Go back? Can you feel that breeze? Uh-huh. I reckon it's coming through this wall. Here, help me push this. <laughs> Please let me be a secret passage. <laughs> well, look at that. Well, how did you know this was here? Well, it was just a punch. Leroy, look out! Are you alright? Yeah, I'm fine. What happened? Well, it looks like there was a secret trap door here. It's probably put there to keep people from getting out. Keep people from getting out? What do you mean? Well, you don't usually trap people inside a room unless you don't want them going anywhere. Um, where do you think those stairs lead to? I don't know, but I reckon that's the only way we can go. Come on, we've got no time to waste. But what about Uncle Shady? Well, there's nothing we can do about it right now. Well, what if something happened to him? Well, you better be worried about what's going to happen to us is what I'm thinking. What do you mean? Well, if we're going to find your uncle, we're going to have to stay alive. And as of right now, I'm not too confident that's going to happen. The walls are keeping in! Oh, damn. Let's go. Hurry up. Go, 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 go. Go, go, go. Ah! Don't stop. Don't stop. Through there! Through there! Oh, we're not going to make it! Yes, we are! Oh, crap! Ooh, that was close. Oh, you could say that again. Does it look safe? Come on, in here. Where are we going now? Man, I could really use a beer right now. Yes, me too. Can I ask you something? No, I did not fart. No, that's not what I'm talking about. Oh, then what? You ever have a strange feeling something bad is about to happen? Oh. So deep down, your manhood hoods. Why do you keep scaring me like this? Right now, it's worse than that. Oh, look, my fishing pole. Well, at least one piece of good news. <gasps> Did you hear that? Will you just shut up. Oh, I don't like this, Mr. Shady. I don't like this at all. Come on. <sighs> Can we go back now? No. Oh, what is that? Listen, don't panic. 
Well, that's easy for you to say. I only got one clip left, too. Oh, what's that noise? Don't panic. Shady? Huh? Shady? Is that <gasps> you? It knows your name. How do you know my name? Well, I must admit, this is certainly the last place I'd expect to find you. How long has it been? Fifteen years? You haven't changed a bit. Me, on the other hand, I've been transformed. Oh, I'm very scared. Who the hell are you? Don't you remember? Remember what? Is it the friend? I don't think so. Don't you remember the weekend in Kalamazoo? No. What? It can't be. What is it? Lizzie? Oh, you do remember. Lizzie, is that you? I'm touched. I, of course, remember you. Oh, God, I was right. You were right about what? Never mind. Seeing you brings back a lot of memories. Oh, God, I thought I recognized that moon. Is it that girl you were talking about? Yeah, and if you breathe a word of this to anyone, I'll kill you. You told your friends about me? I'm flattered. So, what do you think of my new look? Looks like you gained a little weight, actually. Have you been juicing? Shady. I've been doing more than juicing. Oh, I'm very, very scared. You know, you used to be beautiful and all. Now with all those things hanging off of your nose and your lips and your face, you look more like a reject from the Bald Collective. What the hell happened to you? It's all because of you, Shady. Me? Because of you. Now what did I do? You rejected me, Shady. Oh, Mr. Shady. Zip it, I'm busy here. Now I apologize for the interruption. I hear something behind us. Why don't you just get a tattoo like all the other women? Don't you think this is a little too far? Oh, I got more than a tattoo. After you, I decided to make some drastic changes to my life. Searching to perfect who I am. Since it wasn't good enough for you. Of all the things that you wanted to do after we broke up, a tranny was the best thing you could come up with? I always knew you were crazy. <laughs> There's nothing crazy about it. Don't provoke her. Will you shut up? It's the best of both worlds. Human and machine. Yeah, you always did like those vibrators. What's a vibrator? What, you don't know? No. Well, it's a mechanical schmep. You mean they cut it off and replace it with that? No, it's a handheld device. Oh, that is very disturbing. I know. How are you supposed to compete with something that has batteries? It's the future, Shady. Now listen here, Lizzie. I always knew you were crazy, but you were born a girl. And if you can't live with that, then you're nuttier than a peanut butter and jelly fruitcake. I'll show you nuts. What is it doing? How do you like mine? Oh, God. You had to add one of those on? Please put that away before someone gets hurt. What are you doing, Mr. Shady? Listen, I know how to handle this bitch, so just shut up. This time, it's going to be you that's hurting. Now listen here, Lizzie. I really got no beef with you. I no longer answer to that name. Okay, well, whatever you call yourself, if you want to be some kind of weirdo, that's fine with me. Just leave me out of it. I'm not weird. This is who I am now. Listen, I'm here to do some business, and it's not with you. <laughs> oh, but it is. Tiny never told me it was you he was going to sacrifice. But... Now that I know, I couldn't approve more. Oh, I think you made her very mad. Well, it wouldn't be the first time. Hey! Oh. Well, I think we better run. Okay. Bye. Hey, wait for me! Where are you going? Get down! Help! Help! I'm stuck! Well, get yourself unstuck. I can't! Listen, we gotta hurry up. She's mad as hell. You know, she's never tried to kill me before. Maybe she's just trying to teach me a lesson. Are you sure? Well, you can never be 100% sure. Being over 50 and all, going through the change, there's some level of unpredictability. What does that word mean? It means I don't know. Now pull your foot up when I lift. Okay. All right, on the count of three. One, two, three. Oh, that's Thank you. Can you walk? Yes, 
yes, I can walk. Now let me ask you another question. Can you oh, run? I'll try. And don't forget to grab your fishing pole. Oh, my foot is hurting very much. I don't care if you're hopping, skipping, or jumping. Get, let's go. Wait for me. Oh, my. Look out. Listen, we gotta hurry up. This section's about to cave in. Do you know how many nights I cried over here? Let's go! Oh, look out! Oh, he's back. <laughs> Looks like we're surrounded, and I'm almost out of bullets. Get down! <laughs> Alright, through here. We're in very big trouble. Well, at least we're not in Little China. What? Never mind. Here, take the radio and call for backup. Okay! <laughs> Hello, it's this time you are not going to get back. I should have brought another clip. Next time, I listen to the hill. Is there going to be a next time? Well, let's hope so. Please, someone answer, please. You know, I've never seen her this pissed before. She used to throw plates and chairs and knives. This is taking me to the next level. Tell me, Shady. Do you ever have second thoughts about us? This is a 911 emergency! Please! You're all mine! Well, that settles it. What? I'm never dating a Taurus again. What are you talking about? Fifteen years later, and she, I mean whatever, is still pissed off at me. Oh, what are we going to do? What do you mean, what are we going to do? You're supposed to be giving us some backup. And there you are, standing around like a cheap hooker. But nobody is answering! <laughs> We'll do something. Like what? Get down! There's nowhere left to run. There's somebody else. There's a freaky person chasing us. You mean two freaks? I told you there's no escape. Well, that's it. I'm out of books. We're down to hand-to-hand -hand combat. Oh, I wish I had my judo belt. Are you kidding me? You can't even use the fishing pole right so you can forget about judo. Oh, no! Look out! <laughs> Oh God, not again. Oh. Oh. Open your eyes, damn it! Where the hell am I now? <laughs> Mouthful, you said. Oh. Welcome back, Sonny. Oh. How did I get here? Fall the wall, did. <laughs> Very painful. Looked it dead. <laughs> oh, this job's getting too damn dangerous. <laughs> Don't worry, Sonny. It's just a head wound. A head wound? You mean I'm not dead? <laughs> Far from it, you are. You're just unconscious. But you're gonna have a headache when you get up. Uh, so why am I here? Well, we needed a donkey. Talk with me. Urgent it was. Uh, yeah, we couldn't wait till you passed out from drinking too many beers. Oh, man. You know, this better be good. Coming, she is. Uh, and you need to prepare. She who? And prepare for what? Of Lucy, the arrival. Yes. Lucy? I don't know any Lucy. Who are you talking about? Uh, she's the bitch from hell. Coming she is. Now listen here. I told you I don't know a Lucy. <laughs> Concussion? Yes. Well, maybe we should have waited until he passed out. Oh, well, it's too late now. Just get yourself ready. <laughs> now go, we must. These dreams can get it weirder and weirder. What the hell's that? Oh. Oh. There's something big going down here. Well, what do you mean? Well, after the events of New Year's Eve, John, your uncle, and myself came to the conclusion that there's more than just one faction looking for the items. You mean the items of Majesty 12? That's right. And that's what led us here. Oh, you think there's one here? 
Well, we've already had confirmation that the boots were here when that flasher attacked us. Is that what made him so fast? That's affirmative. But the odd thing is, that's not the one we came for. Which means there's one more we still haven't seen. Um, but which one did we come for then? Well, we thought the helmet was here. Well, could you have got it wrong? Not if what Abu told us was right. Well, what did he tell you? That they put some helmet on him before he went out to Vegas. Um, I don't understand what you're telling me. Well, let me explain. If he was sent out there to be a patsy, then it's possible they used the helmet to brainwash him. Is that what the helmet does? Well, from all our research, it allows the user to read people's thoughts and communicate telepathically, as well as pick up any signals traveling by frequency. What does that mean? Well, like cell phones and radios. But that's only when the complete suit is in operation. And if you just had the helmet, mind control is about all you can do. And Abu was a perfect patsy. Well, what do you mean? Well, he's got relatives from terrorist nations. But he's a nice fella. Well, you and I know that. But if you're trying to divert attention away from the chaos you're causing, then the best way is to pick a guy like him to take the fall. But what does that have to do with this place? Well, there's a lot of factions attempting to locate the Twelve. Um, you mean these guys are one of those factions? I'm sure of it. But what are they trying to do? Well, from all the symbolism, I reckon they're trying to conjure up something supernatural. You mean like demons or something? Or even worse. Oh, did you hear that? <laughs> Keep it down. Someone's coming. Shady. In here. Mr. Shady! Um, don't you think you should carry him? Because his head keeps popping on the ground and he's gonna have a big boo boo up there. Shut up. Oh, that pop on his head reminds me of my favorite camel. His name was Boo Boo. Shut up. Oh, okay. If I didn't see it with my own eyes, I sure as hell wouldn't believe it. I've never seen something like that before. I reckon that's one of those transhumans. Oh, no. They've captured Uncle Shady. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like they're in a hell of a fight. What do you think they're going to do to Uncle Shady? Well, whatever it is, it's probably not good. But well, we've got to do something. Well, we are doing something. But I mean to save Uncle Shady. Well, I'm working on a plan right now, but we have to stay focused on the business at hand. I'll try. Remember, we're here on a mission. Okay, they're gone. Come on this way. Well, why are we going that way? Shouldn't we follow them? Let's just say I have a hunch. Now, come on. Mr. Shady, please wake up. Please wake up, Mr. Shady. Oh, please wake oh, up. Oh, my head. Oh, thank goodness. Are you uh, okay? I don't know. Uh, where are we? Well, I'm not very sure, but I think we're in very big trouble uh, right now. Trouble? What do you mean by big trouble? Well, hello, Shady. Glad you can uh, make it. Oh, Tiny, it's you. You know, I've been looking for you. We've got a few things to talk about. I've got something to talk about with you as well. Okay, well, for the first order of business, could you please untie me? These chains are really heavy, and I need to pee. Yes, me too. I'm sorry, but I cannot acquiesce to your request. Oh, what does that mean? What, you don't know Chinese? That was Chinese? No. Oh. Now will you shut up? Okay. Now the second thing is, since I've been gone from the neighborhood, you've been hanging around with some weirdos and doing some strange things, and I want to know why. That's my business, Shady. Well, that might be true, but when you're trying to spread your freakified weirdness all over the world, then it becomes my business. And that's why I knew you would come, Shady. And I've been waiting for you. What do you mean, waiting for me? Oh, it's no coincidence that you came tonight. And thanks for bringing the beer. It was a nice surprise. That's all you ever did was drink my beer. Because you were always too broke to buy your own. Speaking of my beer, where the hell is it? Oh, we're planning on drinking it later, Shady. Over my dead body. Funny you mention that. Don't be angry, Shady. We're only celebrating. What, is it a holiday or something? In a manner of speaking, it is. Well, buy your own beer to celebrate, because that's all I have left. And I don't want a bunch of mystery freaks drinking it all. That's the least of your concerns. You remember Jerry? It's your world, it's your world. Oh, 
God, the magic man. Play with any dolls lately? That's right. Got one for you, too. Is that why my back's been hurting lately? Now, if you let me continue. All right, I'm sorry, Tiny. Just trying to get some info out of the magic man. I believe you also met my other associates. Yeah, don't remind me. It's all like a bad nightmare. Now, what the hell is going on here, Tiny? We built this place, Shady, and we call it the Temple of Mystery. Looks nice now, doesn't it? Oh, it's very big and ugly. Not very original, if you ask me. And why are we here tonight? This temple was built for one glorious purpose. This night, for the Queen God. See, I told you guys. What did you tell us? That it's all about the God of Disease. Oh, God, I need a beer. What's the matter, Shady? You seem a bit tense tonight. Why wouldn't I be tense? I've got all you weirdos standing around me looking at me like a piece of meat. After tonight, we're going to be the top of the food chain. And that's why you're here. What's so important about tonight? That you needed to lure me here. Because we needed your blood, Shady. Well, if you wanted blood, why don't you go down to the Red Cross? They've got plenty of it. Oh, but it's your blood we need. You're going to be an excellent sacrifice. Sacrifice? So this is some weird pagan thing. Man, I've been right all night. I didn't know you changed religions, Tiny. Oh, there's a lot of things you're unaware of. <laughs> well, listen here. Neither one of us here are virgins, so your sacrifice won't count. Oh, we changed the rules. Now anyone counts. Figures. Everyone's always changing the rules to fit their agenda. Jerry, you can begin. Oh, that is a very big night. Now hold your arm steady, Shady. It's gonna help. That's right. Oh, that looks very painful. Oh, you can say that again. Can I get a band-aid for this now? After we get the blood we need. Well, hurry up before I get an infection. An infection is the least of your concerns. All done. That's right. In any event, Shady, I don't think you'll be needing any of these anymore. Listen here. Put down that beer. What you gonna do about it, Shady? Well, I promise you, as soon as I get out of this, you're gonna regret it. Idle threats, Shady. Because you're not gonna get out. I was coming here to kick your ass. We'll be right back after we prepare your blood, Shady. It's your world. It's your world. You know, I don't understand why we're going this way. Trust me, I know what I'm doing. Oh my, this must have been where the battle was. Well, it's a hell of a mess in here. You better stand guard while I look around. Okay. Hmm, it's got to be here somewhere. Well, what are you looking for? Well, look at that. I found it. You came here for the machine gun? Well, if we're going to save your uncle and Abu, we're going to need all the firepower we can get. It's empty. How many clips do you got? Oh, I've got two left. All right, give them to me. Okay, here you go. Well, what else do you got in that backpack of yours? Hmm, let me see. I brought a knife, an extra pair of underwear, a rope, a couple of tuna fish sandwiches, a jelly donut, and a box of condoms. Well, why the hell did you bring condoms? Well, my Uncle Shady told me it's better to be safe than sorry. Well, you can't argue with that. Do you mind if I have one of those tuna fish sandwiches? I'm a bit hungry right now. No, I don't mind. Here you go. Not bad. Oh, and I found my Uncle Shady's glasses. We better get going. We don't have much time. Should I grab the fishing pole? Well, I guess it can't hurt. Now, come on. <laughs> I think we're going to die. Well, that's probably true, but I've been dead before. Well, I don't want to die. Don't you get a bunch of virgins for dying or something? Well, yes. But I can wait. That's not what you were saying earlier. Well, I changed my mind. Well, listen here. You better not wait too long. There ain't many virgins left out there. So you better get them while you still can. Let's just hope this is quick. Oh, no. I think I'm going to cry. Listen here. Death isn't for the faint of heart. If you can't handle the truth that you're going to die, you might be in some big trouble. You mean bigger trouble than we are now? Damn right. By the way, are you good at game shows? Oh, no, not really. Why do you ask? 
Oh, you'll find out. Oh, here they come. It's time. You're really going to let him do this, huh? <laughs> After all we've been through? Some of it was fun. There's still time to change your mind, by the way. And since you were a woman at one point, I think it's still your prerogative. There's no changing my mind, Shady. Soon, the Queen God will be here. Who's that anyways? Lucy the Queen God. Yeah, I heard of her in my dream. She's quite real. And soon, you'll be famous, Shady. Listen here, I'm already famous. I'm on the John LeBang Show. Never heard of that before. Don't worry, no one else has either. Yes, I'm not so famous. Anyways, I've been thinking a lot about what you said earlier, and I just wanted to say I'm sorry. What are you sorry for? Well, for turning you into whatever you've become. I never meant to drive you over the edge. It just wasn't working out for me. We're ready now. Bring them. It's your world, it's your world. Listen, will you stop whining? My nerves are already shot. You're making them worse. Come on, this way. Where are you taking us? We're going to get a good vantage point of this room here. Oh my god. What are they doing down there? Well, it looks like they're getting ready to perform a ceremony. A ceremony? And from what I can tell, they're worshipping Lucy, the Queen God. Have you ever seen anything like this before? Nobody has seen this for hundreds, if not thousands of years. Oh look, there's Tiny. And he's wearing a mind piece. We gotta do something. Alright, here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna cause a diversion to get their attention. You're gonna make your way down and around to your uncle. And when you get there, you're going to have to take out Tiny and grab the headpiece. Well, how am I supposed to do that? Well, if all else fails, you're going to have to kill him. Huh? But I've never killed anyone before. Well, there's a first time for everything. Now, after he's eliminated, I want you to unchain Abu and your uncle and get the hell out of here. But what about you? Well, I'm going to try and get those boots. And if I'm successful, I'll meet you back at the car. Well, how long should we wait? Well, if I'm not there by the top of the hour, I want you to take everybody to Banger One and head home. We're not going to leave you behind. We don't have time to discuss this with the committee. This is the only chance we have to save both of them. Now give me that rope that's in your backpack and the fishing pole. All right, here you go. Now here's my 9mm. Give it to your uncle as soon as you get him free. Understood. Just be ready for my signal. Well, what's the signal? You'll know when the time comes. Now go. We're gathered together tonight, here, to witness the rebirth of the Queen God. The promise of what tonight brings will change everything. Never again will we be subject to the unjust laws governed by the natural order of things. A new order will emerge, and we will strike out our enemies with a fury never before witnessed. I think so. No more hiding. We have lived in the shadows for far too long. Oh, no, what's going to happen? A new tomorrow that begins today. I don't know, but I've got a bad feeling about this. Yes, me too. Let the ceremony begin. The blood of our enemies, unwillingly given and offered to you as a mortal sacrifice. What is wrong? I don't know. The Queen God shall rise again. Oh, what is up with me? Do you think? Rise! Oh, so what is up You'll die of the blood! You killed Jerry. And if you don't let my friends go, you're going to be next. Could you deal with this, please? Let's We're rock. not quite done here. Now, where were we? Oh, please let us go. Oh, yes. I almost forgot. You're still right here. I'm going to kill you, Shady. And your little friend, too. Not if I can help it. 
Hello, Leroy. Long time no see. I'm surprised you made it this far, actually. And I'm surprised, too. You pretended to be his friend this whole time. Well, a wise man once said, Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. And that's all I did. You can't blame me for following good advice now, can you? Just put down the knife and unchain my Uncle Shady. Yes, and me too. We both know you don't have the balls to pull the trigger. You're not the killing type. I warn you, drop it. No, you drop it. Oh, oh no. Leroy, I'm sorry, Uncle Shady. Your next shoot. I changed my mind. Well, you can't do that. We made plans. Don't tell me what I can and cannot do. Oh. Oh. Now, let's get you untied. Thanks, uh, Lizzie. It's my pleasure. Okay, untie him and I'll check out Leroy. Let me please, honey. Leroy, please be alive. Come on, give me a sign. Oh, please, God, don't let this happen. Uncle Shady? Leroy, you're alive. What happened, Uncle Shady? I thought I lost you. What's wrong with your eyes, Uncle Shady? Nothing, Leroy. Just my allergies from all the dust in here. It looks like you were crying, Uncle Shady. Shut up, Leroy. Is he okay? Listen, get him out of here. There's a first aid kit in the car. Do what you can and get him stable. I'll be right behind you. Well, what are you going to do? I've got some unfinished business to handle. Okay. Come on, little by little. Oh, oh, slowly. Oh, it's okay. Well, Tanner, I got what I came for. Now I guess it's time to part ways. It isn't over, Shady. Yes, it is, Tiny. I can't be friends with you anymore. I could have forgiven you for a lot of things, even stealing my beer. But you tried to kill my nephew, so this is the end. Goodbye. All right, sneaker boys, let's get it on. I'll show you what a heel village can do. Don't mess with a red. I'll bring you some delivery. That was Backwoods Redneck style. Uh, which way do we go? Which way do we go? We uh, said that way. I got you covered. Uh, oh, thank you. Come on. Come on. Let's go. <laughs> Watch out where you're walking. Those are nice boots. Thanks for bringing them to me. By the way, next time, don't mess with a redneck. Do you feel better now? Yeah. Listen, Lizzie. I want to thank you for changing your mind. I never could stay mad at you. <laughs> Just like old times. Speaking of old times, do you think maybe we could get together sometime? Listen, I appreciate all you've done, but I don't think so. You're rejecting me again? Well, don't think of it as a rejection. You're just not my type anymore. After all I've done for you tonight. Listen, don't get your panties all wound up in a knot. You've got parts you didn't have before, and since I don't go that way, I'm not interested. How could I be so stupid? Listen, don't take it personally. Don't take it personally? I was never good enough for you. Never! Oh my God, she's having a meltdown. You son of a bitch! Everybody get out! Destiny Wars. She and the Mystery Freaks. Starring she, Apu Mortadai, Wilbur Hillbilly, and Leroy. The voice of Liz Zemo, played by Andrea DeGilio. Uh, 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 come on in here. Get in, get in. Uh, uh, uh. Where's Shady? I don't know, he didn't come out. Oh, don't worry, I'm here. Just had to deal with the conniption is all. Everybody all right? Yeah. Mm. Oh, God, get in the car. What, 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 what? Just get in the car. What? Let's go. Come on, come on, come on. Hey! And that's the end of the mystery, freaks. Or at least most of them. Not a bad day's work, if I do say so myself. We recovered the helmet, 
and the boots. Leroy's gonna be all right. He even found my glasses, and I've got one beer left. All's well that ends well, I guess. And if there's a moral to the story, if you're out one stormy night and you see your ex-girlfriend, listen to Shady. Get the hell out of there because she's probably crazy or something like that.